all right guys what's going on Justin from 79 productions and today I'm going to be reviewing the $500 eBay turbo kit now the turbo kit has been on the car for about a year to a year and a half and guys this has been nothing but fun I enjoy it so much and before I uh, start the review I'm gonna do a little recap of the installation for all of the uh, new subscribers who might not have seen it there's a three-part series on this so if you want to check that out go ahead and check it out but before I do that guys I got a box of shirts in if you guys want to help support the channel this always helps support the channel because every dollar from the t-shirt sales goes directly into building these projects so I will put a link in the description and uh, go pick you a shirt up.
Here we go. All right, guys, so we just hit 301 horsepower at 301 horsepower, and what, what our torque is that, 251? Uh, no, it's more than that. Move it over again. Oh, you gotta move it over? Yeah, it only lines up the horsepower. 267. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, 301.8 horsepower and 267.4 foot pounds of torque. That's still 11 pounds of boost. And that's still 11 pounds? It didn't go up anymore. look at look at the car and be like oh it's not really that fast uh, it wasn't really intended to be that fast and it kind of is fast I mean for me it, it's fast now keep in mind guys I've never driven a car with five six hundred horsepower so it would be kind of crazy for me to build a car and just build a 600 horsepower so for 300 horse 300 horsepower is a great car for me to learn how to drive it's a great car for me to learn how to drive with i mean i already know how to drive but as far as handling the horsepower i mean now so yeah it's been a year with this ebay turbo kit and i have no complaints about it the only problem i had with the kit was the bolts backed out on me. When I tell you guys, I was driving back from Raw Performance. And another thing, guys, I want to give Will at Raw Performance a big shout out because he was awesome. He taught me so much about this and things I should do for future builds. And guys, the tune to make a stock V20 last this long, the tune is everything. And Will at Raw Performance did an excellent job with the tune. So I have no complaints about that. And he's a, he's a great tuner. So I, I would recommend him to anybody. Raw Performance is in Lenore, North Carolina. If you guys need a tune, give him a, give him a holler. He's pretty good. But back to the problems. The only problem I ever had out of this kit was the day I got it tuned. I was driving back from Raw Performance and every single one of the bolts on the downpipe backed out and this thing got really loud really quick and it scared me. I was like, man, what's going on? Pulled the car over and got out. It was the uh, downpipe. So, <laughs> yeah, 
I had to put some bolts back in there. I went and spent about $13, I believe it was $12, $13, and bought some grade eight bolts, and I swapped the downpipe bolts out for those bolts and the turbo bolts. Now, once I did that, no problems at all. So, I might be one of the lucky guys. A lot of the people, a lot of people who buy these uh, eBay turbo kits, they say they'll never buy them again. Me, I will buy it again, 100%. The way I was looking at it, it was $500 for the kit. It came with everything. The only things that didn't come with the kit that I added because I needed a tune were the injectors. I got those from a fellow YouTuber, Undertuned. His injectors are Chevy LS injectors. They're decap and they're junkyard injectors. Those things have been great. They help put the power down and no problems out of them. I bought a Kemzo 340 liter per hour fuel pump off of eBay for $29. No problems out of that. <clears throat> also, I got a chip DCU. I bought that used from Facebook Marketplace. I got it for like $60. So, I mean, but that, I would have upgraded that and went with like a Honda or something a little bit better for tuning. And it's just the ECU I got, it works, but it's a little outdated. Well, it's a lot outdated. But next time I'm going to go with a Honda. But, um, so other than that, I changed the map sensor as well. I don't think I needed to change it because I ran 11 pounds. I don't know if the stock Honda map sensor handles 10 or 11 pounds. I heard it's 10 or 11 pounds, but don't really know. I got a, a, a K2 map sensor, four bar map sensor, and that was like 85 bucks. I think in total for everything to install the turbo kit, that was 500 and everything else was about, was about another, four or five hundred dollars and that includes like the catch can and stuff like that the catch can was a hundred dollars on ebay and it guys this setup was just an awesome setup it was it was just a, it was a great experience to install this my first time ever installing a turbo kit and i have zero complaints out of it you know the way i was looking at it if the turbo goes bad I go buy another $100 turbo, install it, and I'm back on the road. So, would I recommend a uh, eBay turbo kit to you? Absolutely. I don't know if I said this or not, but the, e the kit that I got was from DNA Motoring. I don't, I haven't seen any more of them up there, but, you know, so for you guys who are going to ask me for a part number, I don't know. But most of the turbo kits on eBay are pretty much the same. So, yeah. But guys, I would... This has been a great experience. 300 horsepower. This is my first time ever turboing a car. First time driving a car with boost. And I love it. It's been great. And... Would I use it again? Absolutely. I'm going to be building another car pretty soon and I'm going to get another turbo kit for it. So that's it guys. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at 79 Productions. Follow me on Facebook 79 Productions. And I'll catch you guys on the next. I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you guys.